Luxury cars are all about being comfortable as you cruise the streets, looking baller as you pull up to the club, and making a little noise as you pass suckers on the freeway. And today, thanks to depreciation, you can own surprisingly luxe cars for cheap. What's up, Ideal Fam? I'm Brad Danger, and I'm gonna help you ride in luxury. Let's go. Guys, we gotta thank Dollar Shave Club for partnering with us in this video. See, Dollar Shave Club has you and me covered for all our grooming needs. You know, shower, oral care, deodorant, and most importantly, shaving. Now, you guys know me, and if you're not new to the channel, well, you know that I carry a five o'clock shadow or a little bit more. But, guys, I have something to show you. Come with me. Boys, Dollar Shave Club sent me their ultimate shave starter set. You get their executive handle and blades. You get a one ounce tube of Dr. Carver's prep scrub. You also get the shave butter and you get the post shave dew. Now guys, about 20 minutes ago, I had YouTube girlfriend put on a blindfold because I told her that I had a surprise for her. And what we're gonna do is use all of this and see if she likes beard or smooth skin more. Now easily, my favorite is the heft of this handle and these six blade razors. They do the job phenomenally. So what I'm gonna do is put on some prep scrub and shave only half my face and see if YouTube girlfriend can tell the difference. Okay, that is weird. YouTube girlfriend, hold out your hand. Here's the surprise. Yeah, all right, feel feel this side of my face, the beard side. Oh, I love your scrub. Yeah, okay, now now I want you to feel the other, other side. Oh, that's the smoothest shape. Wait a minute, what? Wait, what's wrong with your... See, there we have it, boys. I know girls like the scrub, but if you need a smooth, clean shaven face, there's only one place to go. DollarShaveClub.com slash Ideal Media. And you can get this ultimate shave starter set for only five bucks. And then of course, round out your grooming routine by adding any of their other high quality products. After that, the restock box ships full size products at regular price. And again, go to DollarShaveClub.com slash Ideal Media to pick it up for just five bucks. Thanks again, Dollar Shave Club, for sponsoring this video. I gotta go shave my face. Yeah, I, I know, uh, I look a little bit different. <laughs> My facial hair just grows really fast. Starting off this list is one of my personal favorites from Toyota's premium luxury brand, the fourth generation Lexus GS. The athletic, well-mannered sports sedan from the Japanese automaker that is known for reliability and luxury. Now, these things new were pushing a $60,000 MSRP. In this generation that started in 2013 was a step in a new direction for Lexus. It now had a prominent spindle grille, LED headlight treatment, and a more chiseled body. It wasn't just restyled. Oh no, it was also re-engineered. See, the new GS was way sportier than the predecessor, spending more than its fair share of time shredding laps at the Nürburgring, dialing in that lively chassis. If you snag one with rear wheel drive, this sports saloon with its 3.5 liter V6 pumping out 306 horses transforms into a proficient connoisseur of the curves you push it in. I can guarantee that you're going to want to log miles in this thing. And I can't forget to mention that it's a Lexus. It's a quality built car from the team at Toyota. And less than 10 years after conception, you can snag one for a sixth of the original asking price. We were able to find this GS for just under 10K. Now it is a little high in the mileage range, but you gotta keep in mind, this is a Toyota. Some would say it's just getting broken in. Now the Lexus GS is a great choice for a modern luxury car on the cheap. But wait, there's some stiff competition on this list. The Lexus GS and BMW 5 Series are the rulers by which other luxury sedans are measured. And Cadillac decided to see how they would measure up with their 2014 Cadillac CTS. I know, Cadillac, I'm not retired yet. This American luxury sedan is an ideal value for sure when it comes to cheap luxury. Just step into the CTS's spacious cabin and your eyes are met with signature Cadillac. Sprinkled with leather and wood trim, it's an inviting space that will wow your passengers on a nice cruise. GM was going after the kings of luxury with their 2014 model. Let's just say the engineers were not messy around. The CTS is not a soft leather couch on wheels like previous generations. It was designed as a driver's car first, 
and luxury cars second, featuring sharp handling and stiff suspension. Some would say that it's too stiff for a luxury sedan, but I think that the ideal fans would prefer a much more nimble ride. Now, the CTS came in a few different trims, and for 10K, you can likely find a luxury trim package CTS for sale, which comes with a moderately powered turbo four cylinder or a V6 with a ton of features like HID headlights, heated seats, and a rear view camera. But if you're really on the hunt, try and get yourself a V6 Performance or Premium. Up to 318 ponies came standard at this level, which is a respectable amount of power, but it may not be enough for you. Then the mad lads over at Chrysler have a luxury muscle car that covers all your needs with the second gen Chrysler 300. I don't know about you, but I love the look of this revamped flagship Chrysler sedan. It still carries some of its all American retro design language from the first gen, but it looks reinvented more contemporary, and way classier. The 300 is a hefty, good-looking, American-made rear-wheel drive comfy boat that you just need in your life. It actually looks sophisticated, and it's the kind of cheap luxury you want to put miles on. Now, the 300 came in a number of trim models, like the 300C trim level with a 5.7 liter Hemi, or the SRT, which came with a snarling 470 horsepower 6.4 liter Hemi that can rocket the 300 to highway speeds in the low four second range. Of course, I would suggest any trim that your budget allows. For us trying to stay under 10K, you can pick up a Hemi powered 300C for around 9,000 bucks. It may not have the insane horsepower of the SRT, but it still has a roomy interior, lined in high-end materials, and a ride that rivals any German sedan. So it'll make you feel rich on the cheap. But if you want to look rich, check out this list of the best cars that are cheap that will make you look rich. Well, that is if you don't need the power. Like, you know, 469 fire-breathing horsepower out of a German assault vehicle? That's right, it's time that we inject a little power into this list. Power. 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 With the W211 Mercedes-Benz E55 AMG. This Merc is insane fun, with to die for good looks and a drivetrain that will hang with the best of them. Yes, this is a list of cheap luxury cars, so you probably didn't expect to see an E-Class on this list, let alone an AMG version. But our good old friend Depreciation has grabbed this super sedan by the cojones and just never let go. For less than nine grand, you're rolling in pure luxury with the highest horsepower unit on this list. And let a boy dream, because that engine is supercharged. So with just some simple pulleys and a tune, this thing is straight up unstoppable. Now yes, this is an older ride, but the Mercedes has held up extremely well against the competition. Just uh, don't get one of these if you don't know your way around a torque wrench, because you don't wanna take this thing to the dealership. It's gonna cost mucho dinero. So you may be saying to yourself, Brad, I can't afford an AMG. Well then, concerned viewer, maybe you want a more reasonable German highway bomber that won't cost so much to maintain. Well, the BMW 5 Series is the definition of a high-end sports sedan, and it wouldn't be a cheap luxury list without it on here, especially when it has the tried and true three liter inline six beneath the hood, which helps push this land yacht with 240 horsepower. Yeah, I agree, it's nothing to write home about but the N52 is straight up bulletproof. And this large and in charge sedan is a statement piece that will have all your friends thinking that you spent way over the four figures it takes to get into one of these. Guys, check this out. Here's an 11 for less than eight grand. Now, you might be tempted by the 335i with a 300 horsepower turbocharged three liter or the range topping 550i with a twin turbo 4.4 liter V8 packing 400 horsepower. And I'm gonna save you guys a lot of money. Just say no to either of those. The 528i is the way to go on the sixth generation five series. Choose the naturally aspirated three liter power plant and you'll get all the perks of a classic luxury sedan that perfectly perfectly blend seven series luxury, three series agility, and you won't get hit with the major running costs of the 535 or the 550i. Sure, it's not gonna blow the doors off of anyone, but it's not gonna blow the doors off your bank account either. And now that it's time to switch gears, we're gonna talk about the second most underrated vehicle on this list. And you can get this for a steal. The fourth generation Acura TL is an often overlooked value in the luxury ride department. And I think we can chalk it up to some of the shortcomings it has in the looks department. But like my mom told me, never judge a book by its cover, baby. Well, she didn't say baby. 
baby. As far as a budget luxury daily driver, the Acura TL is one tough cookie. With its spacious seating for five and a trunk big enough for weekly Costco runs, it's a top runner. The fourth generation TL is based on the eighth generation Honda Accord. And if there's a word synonymous with Honda, it's reliability. So finding a 2012 TL with under 100K on it for just 9,000 bucks means it's barely broken in and an incredible value. Plus, the best thing about an Acura is that it will be surprisingly inexpensive to run for how premium it is. If the brands never come up on your radar when you were thinking about cheap luxury, think again. That is, if you don't want the most underrated penny-pinching luxury you can buy. The second generation Genesis sedan is an absolute force to be reckoned with. The designers at Hyundai really stepped it up for the Genesis. It looks way more like a Maybach than a Sonata. At a long glance, you would never know that this is a product from Hyundai. Yeah, it kind of looks like a knocked off Mercedes S-Class, and there's this slightly cheap feel about the interior, but I'm telling you, most people, including enthusiasts, would never know this is a Korean budget sedan. By the look of those sharp curves, you just assume that this is a Euro luxury liner, and it ain't just a pretty face. The 3.8 comes packing over 300 horse power out of its Lambda GDI V6. Inside, you're sitting in heated seats and in a cabin with more space than the Audi or BMW competition. When the Genesis 3.8 went for sale brand new, it was a budget-friendly alternative to the German luxury rivals. And why is it one of the best cars on this list? Today, it's a freaking steal. You can look good and right for around seven grand with the Genesis 3.8. And better yet, you can find some of the much more powerful R-Spec models floating around 10,000 bucks. Just do yourself a favor and do not consider getting yourself a 2012 R-Spec. They are lemons. So what's your 10K luxury ride of choice? A black caddy that punches way above its weight, a German missile with 469 horsepower, or the Genesis that is just a Hyundai? Let us know down below and also let us know any thing that we missed. Oh, and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe if you're new here, as well as feel free to cruise around and check out some of our other ideal content. Guys, it's been a real pleasure. And as always, keep living that ideal lifestyle.